I'm here pulling the night shift in the small animal barns at the Clackamas County Fairground where we have a couple hundred animals um, that we're sheltering from our surrounding wildfires. 4-H is a wonderful community and that's one of the great reasons to join a program like 4-H. So when the evacuations first started happening, that's who people turned to, were their 4-H friends. And as evacuations kept happening, some of the people who were originally helping also then had to evacuate and it just got wider and wider in terms of the number of people responding. We are well known for our animal programs, large and small. In an evacuation, that's one of the specialty areas that it's sometimes hard to find volunteers who can help with. Not everyone has the skill it takes to load a frightened cow onto a trailer. That's a specialty area or round up roosters and geese and herd them into a crate. But that's something our 4-H youth and adults know how to do and they just jumped in with all of their energy to help everyone in the county. Animals can be deeply affected by disasters. They respond to some of the same cues as us, so things like, in this case, smoke in the air. If you were close enough to see flames, that's deeply unsettling to most animals. The other thing they respond to really well is human emotion. So if you are panicked and trying to load an animal in a trailer, it's probably not going to go so well. That's a place where having other helpers is really important. Almost no animal really likes being away from home. So we definitely saw stressed animals here. Absolutely. This has been a stressful experience because on the one hand, you know that people might be losing everything. So many people who evacuated, they just had to go and it was days before they knew what the outcome would be. I am a big believer in the 4-H program. I see the difference it makes in our young people. And really important is that idea that they give back to their communities. We need them. <laughs> Look at how many volunteers we needed to make this emergency event happen and where did they come from? Mostly they were people who had volunteered before. So in 4-H, we have the four H's, right? They are head, heart, hands, and health. And in this case, hands, we say we pledge our hands for larger service. And people in 4-H take that seriously, that giving back to their community is important and something that should be a priority to them.